According to some recent research, workers spend one to two days a week on email. That sounds crazy, but it's true. Just think about how much time you spend in your email inbox per day or week. And very often you might think that a lot of this time is wasted and just not worth it. So to increase your email efficiency, let's explore some easy outlook tips and tricks so you have more time to spend on more important things than emails. On top of that, we'll make sure your emails on conversations are safe and secure when sharing confidential information. First of all, let's customize your Outlook interface so you'll feel at home and have the most intuitive setup that fits your needs and workflow best. So let's start with tailoring the reading pane and the to-do bar, which are crucial for staying on top of your emails and tasks. Your Outlook might look like this. The default view where the email preview list is on the left and the reading pane on the right without any other informational bars open. But that might not be best for productivity. To change this, head to the view tab at the top of Outlook. For the reading pane, click reading pane and then choose either right or bottom, depending on whether you'd prefer to see the contents of your emails. You could even say you want to turn it off, maybe if you're working on a very small laptop and you would rather want to separately open the email you would like to answer. To adjust the to-do bar, click on to-do bar in the view tab. Here you can select options like tasks, people or calendar to keep key details visible at a glance on the right hand side of Outlook. Setting both the calendar and the tasks gives you a quick overview of your daily or weekly schedule and your to-dos without having to switch views. In addition to changing your reading pane and the other bars on the right, you can change your navigation pane. This is a small control center either on the left or bottom left of Outlook that lets you switch between your mail, calendar, people and tasks. But there are even more great options. To activate them, go to the navigation pane and click on an empty space on the pane or on the three dots to select navigation options. In the navigation options window, you can reorder items like mail, calendar, people and tasks. For example, if your day revolves around meetings, move calendar to the top. In case you might have created folders for each project or topic you're working on and want to have a folder view and the, as the leading one, you can have Outlook sorted by folders. You can also adjust how many items are visible in compact mode. If you prefer a cleaner look, consider reducing this number. And finally, if you leave the checkbox for compact navigation ticked, the navigation pane will show icons instead of written words. Another great way to improve your workflow and outlook is by creating custom search folders. Custom search folders can be a powerful tool for keeping track of emails that require special attention, like project-related communications or messages from key clients. For example, you might know the struggle of searching for the same keyword or emails from specific people over and over again. But every time you do that search, you have to manually type in the search phrase or keyword in the search tab in Outlook. This is tedious and costs valuable time. So to make this more efficient and save you the same search for the 10th or 20th time, you can create a new search folder by going to the Folders tab and clicking on New Search Folder. Alternatively, you can use the shortcut Control shift p A variety of predefined criteria will be presented to you. If you're looking to track all emails from a specific project, you might choose mail from and to specific people or mail with specific words in the subject. After selecting your criteria, specify the details such as the project name in the subject or the key contacts involved. This creates a folder that automatically collects all emails fitting your criteria, saving you the hassle of manual searches. Do you like the insights from today's video so far? Then don't stop there. Join our exclusive community by subscribing to my newsletter. Just hit the link in the description below. Every edition is packed with practical tips and tricks to enhance your productivity, helping you work not just harder, but smarter with the right tools at your fingertips. And here's the sweet deal. When you sign up, you'll instantly receive free access to my custom templates in Notion and PowerPoint. You'll also get special discounts on my premium content, such as The Digital Architect, your ultimate guide to mastering digital organization and reclaiming your time. And let's not forget my productivity booster pack, featuring over 100 flashcards, each packed with a unique productivity method. 
So what are you waiting for? Become part of a community that's all about achieving more for the better. Click the link below, sign up and let's transform your digital world together. See you there. And now that you have customized the Outlook interface, let's explore some tips to improve your email management. By leveraging Outlook's advanced features, you can streamline your email handling, ensuring you spend more time on tasks that matter. First, you can do that by using email templates for frequent responses. This is particularly interesting if you find yourself sending similar responses frequently or similar types of emails on a regular basis. This could be meeting notes, newsletters, or specific project update meetings. In that case, email templates can save you a significant amount of time because you do not have to type the same email over and over again, format it, include all recipients, and so on. Instead, you can just use an Outlook template with one click and fill in the few things that change. To create a template, compose a new email with the content you wish to reuse. Instead of sending, go to the File menu, choose Save As, and in the Save As type drop-down, select Outlook Template OFT. Select the folder and save the template. To use a template, you can just double-click on the file and it will open in Outlook. In case you have saved the template but forgotten where exactly, you will still have access to it. Just go to New Items under the Home tab, more items and choose form. In the Look In drop-down, select User Templates in File System, where you will see all of your templates and you can choose the one you want. In addition to using email templates, you can use the little-known cleaning feature in Outlook. This feature can help reduce clutter by removing redundant messages from a conversation, which is particularly useful in long email threads. You might also have email conversations that become lengthy over time, especially when multiple people reply all, including previous messages in their responses. This results in multiple copies of the same information being stored in your inbox, which can create clutter and make it harder to find the actual and important information. And that's when the cleaning feature comes in handy. It ensures that your inbox is streamlined and focused only on the most current emails in each conversation. To use the feature, select a conversation, go to the Home tab and click Clean Up. You can choose to clean up the selected conversation, clean up the entire folder, or clean up the folder and all its subfolders. Another great way to reduce clutter and identify high-priority messages or emails from key contacts is to make them appear in your inbox in red or another visually distinctive color. This customization can be achieved using conditional formatting in Outlook. Start by going to the View tab, then click on View Settings. In the dialog box that appears, click on Conditional Formatting. Here you can add a new rule by clicking Add. Name your rule something descriptive like High Priority Emails, and then click on Font. Choose the color red or any other color that you prefer for these emails. Next, click on Condition to specify the criteria for this formatting. For example, you can set the rule to apply to emails from a specific email address or those marked with a high importance level. Once you've set your conditions, click OK to apply the changes. Now, emails that meet your specific criteria will automatically appear in red, making them immediately noticeable between all other emails in your inbox. In addition to using conditional formatting, the cleaning feature and email templates, you could also set up some email rules or quick steps that will save you so much more time. But next to your inbox, the second most important place in Outlook is your calendar. It defines how much time you spend in meetings or the other way around, how much time you have left to spend on your to-dos and the things you want and need to finish. What I love most about my own calendar is not only that it's quite streamlined, but also the fact that I believe I've mastered the art of color coding my meetings. That's how I stay on top of my schedule and can spot more important versus less important meetings or quickly adjust priorities. In fact, Outlook allows you to color code different types of appointments and meetings, but also emails, so your calendar could eventually look like this. For existing meetings, right-click on any calendar item and choose Categorize to assign a color category. 
For new appointments, you can choose the category at the top while defining the meeting details. I recommend using different colors for different types of meetings, such as red for client meetings, blue for internal team meetings, yellow for personal appointments, or green for learning and development. This visual differentiation helps in quickly identifying the types of engagements you have at a glance, allowing for better time management and daily planning. But planning might still be difficult if you work across different time zones. And even more so if you're not just plus or minus one or two hours, but a lot more than that, back and forth across the globe. But no worries, Outlook can display and work with multiple time zones, which simplifies this process. You can schedule meetings at times convenient for all participants and do not need to look up the local time manually every time you set up a meeting. This reduces scheduling errors and saves you time coordinating a convenient time with your counterpart. To set up multiple time zones, navigate to File, Options and Calendar in your Outlook application. Scroll down to the Time Zones sections. Here you can label your current time zone for easier reference. To add a new time zone, check the box for the second time zone and select the appropriate time zone from the drop-down menu. You can also give it a label such as the name of a city or region, making it easier to remember whom this time zone pertains to. If necessary, add a third time zone by following the same steps. Now, when you open your Outlook calendar, the time zones will be displayed on the very left next to your own one. I believe that meetings are worth nothing if there's no clear takeaway or outcome. This could be concrete to-dos or next steps, a conclusion or solution for a problem, or even some new ideas if the meeting was a brainstorming session. So capturing those outcomes is crucial, either to share them or just to keep track or proof. And when you are working in the Microsoft sphere, there is the great ability to integrate your meeting notes in OneNote directly with your calendar appointments in Outlook. There are two ways to connect an Outlook meeting with a page in OneNote. Either before the meeting, you can create a new note in OneNote and link it to the meeting by selecting meeting details in OneNote and choosing the relevant meeting. Or during the meeting, you can take notes directly in OneNote. These notes can easily be shared with attendees afterward, providing a central reference point for discussions and action items. To share the notes, you can click on Share at the top left of OneNote and choose the respective sharing option you would like to use. Now, with all the time that you spend with Outlook, writing and receiving emails, sending appointments and accepting meetings, I assume there is at least a certain amount of spam and chunk emails that you receive. This might be random newsletters or some scammy emails trying to sell you something. Even if your organization has set up some spam filters already, you can do that yourself to reduce the number of chunk emails that you receive, which will save you time decluttering your inbox. So Outlook's chunk email filter and anti-phishing features are there to protect you against spam and malicious attacks. To properly configure those settings, navigate to the Home tab, then to Chunk, Chunk Email Options. In the Chunk Email Options dialog box, you can choose the level of protection that best suits your needs, from no automatic filtering to safe lists only. This is the safest options where only mail from people or domains on your safe senders list or safe recipients will be delivered to your inbox. If you choose either low, high or safe lists only, you will also be able to protect against phishing and check the warn me about suspicious domain names in the email addresses option at the bottom. In case you decide to choose safe lists only, you should make sure to regularly update your safe senders and block senders list to personalize your protection. Another thing you should be aware of is your permissions for calendar sharing. In your team or maybe even the entire organization, it might be common to share one's calendar with others to see when they are free so they can schedule meetings. However, you might not want to share your calendar with everyone in your organization, but maybe only with your closest colleagues or your team. So no matter if you want to check what permissions you have currently set or if you want to change them, you can do that by going to the calendar view right-clicking on the top, in my case, the blue bar in your calendar and select Properties and go to the Permissions tab. Here you can see who has access to your calendar and what level of detail they can see. Adjust permissions as needed. 
options range from can view when I'm busy to can edit, giving you control over how much information others can access. For external sharing, consider using the publish online feature to share a view only version of your calendar with a broader audience without compromising the ability to make changes. And finally, a little known but interesting security fact is that automatic image loading in emails can be a privacy concern because images can be used to track when you open an email, potentially revealing personal information about your email habits to senders. So disabling this feature in Outlook prevents images from being automatically downloaded, giving you control over which images to view and protecting your privacy. No worries, even if you disable automatic image loading, you can still load them manually if you know the sender and really need to see what's behind the picture. However, often pictures are just included in someone's signature as a company logo or whatsoever. So there's no need that these images load and potentially track your habit. To disable automatic image loading, go to File in the top menu, then select Options to open the Outlook Options dialog box. Select Trust Center from the list on the left-hand side and click on Trust Center Settings to access more specific options. In the Trust Center dialog, click on Automatic Download on the left. You will see a list of settings related to downloading content in emails. Now find the option that says Don't download pictures automatically in standard HTML email messages or RSS items. Check this box to disable automatic image loading and then click OK to apply the changes and exit out of the Trust Center. Then click OK again in the Outlook Options dialog to finalize your settings. Now that you are much more efficient and secure in Outlook, do you remember part two of the video where I recommended setting up email rules or quick steps for more efficient email management? No? Then watch this video now if you want to know how that's done and become a real Outlook Pro.